Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Elliot Webber and in today's video we are going to be talking about someone who I think should join the BTCC grid at some point in the future. Now of course if you recognise the man in the thumbnail, um, you probably might, you probably won't, uh, but he is Jan Erlache and now some of you are probably going... Who's Jan Erlache? Jan Erlache currently races in the World Touring Car Championship. He is the reigning two-time World Touring Car Champion as well. He, of course, won it in 2020 and last year in 2021. So, reigning champ, reigning two-time champ. Very similar to a certain tour British Touring Car Champion. Um, and he is, of course, also the nephew of Ivan Muller. That might be a name you recognise from the past. The 2003 BTCC champion and, of course, the four-time World Touring Car champion. So, of course, Ivan Muller, a generational talent. Touring Car royalty as well, let's not forget. Um, and, of course, his nephew, Jan Elache, is following in his footsteps in winning a World Championship. But I think Jan should also follow his uh, his uncle's footsteps a lot more by joining BTCC. Now let's talk about why I think that. So why do I think Jan Erlache should join the BTCC? Well, he is, of course, as I say, the two-time reigning world touring car champion, which means theoretically, on paper, he is currently the best touring car driver in the world, um, of course, you can agree to disagree, but technically, on paper, as the two-time reigning world champion, Jan Erlache is the best in the world. However, of course, we know some of the BTCC guys, guys like Ash Sutton, Colin Turkington, Gordon Shedd, and Jason Plato, have all been recognised as some of the best touring car drivers in the world. Most of the best touring car drivers in the world have either raced in BTCC or even currently raced in BTCC. Of course, there is a lot of talk going around that Ash Shutton is, of course, the best in the world at the minute. But I think Jan Erlache should be the one to prove that. And I think as BTCC is 100% the most competitive touring car championship in the world, um, I think Jan Erlache should come here and he should prove how good he is in the touring car machinery, of course, we know World Touring Cars uses the TCR regulation, similar to uh, to the Touring Car Trophy slash TCR UK. They use the TCR regulations, whereas, of course, Touring Cars will be going into NGTC Hybrid. Of course, we know from the NGTC that we had uh, from 2011 to 2021. Um, but, yeah, I think that Jan should, should join... Um, see how he does in the hybrid era. Let's not forget World Touring Cars is also thinking about going to hybrid technology at some point, either this year or in 2023, I believe. I'm not too sure. Quote me on that if I'm wrong. And yeah, I think Jan could, could do very well. Of course, there would be a few things stopping him. That being he is currently getting a lot of money in, in World Touring Cars. He, is, he, he currently drives for Lincoln Co Racing, which is uh, a Chinese manufacturer team. So, of course, Chinese money. There'll be a lot of that. Uh, not only that, his his uh, his uncle Ivan Muller is uh, putting uh, a lot of money into the project as well. I do believe Ivan is actually a team principal. I'm not too sure. Um but I also know Ivan Miller is putting a lot of money into that Lincoln Co. Cyan Performance project. Of course, Cyan Performance are the Swedish team that run the Lincoln Co. cars and World Touring cars. Of course, we know they currently, they, uh, in 2021, they had, of course, Erlache, Ivan Muller, Ted Bjork, the 2017 world champion, and Santiago Arusia. So, uh, a quality team. Um, Lincoln Co. are probably the best car in World Touring cars. Um, but I do think Jan could do very well. In fact, actually, yeah, let's talk about that. How well will Jan Elache do if he ever joined the British Touring Cars? So, how well do I think Jan will do? Honestly, it depends on what team he joins. If considering Jan Elache is probably one is is one of the biggest names in Touring Cars, obviously the biggest name in World Touring Cars, I believe at the minute. Of course, as I say, remember he is a two-time world champion. Um, I think Jan would probably be off doing well at sort of BMW or Toyota um, or maybe even a Honda, of course. In fact, I think actually, yeah, Honda would be very good for Jan Elache. In 2019, Jan Elache was a works Honda driver before moving on to yeah, before moving on to Lincoln Co. Um, so Jan Elache, a former Honda driver. Let's get him at Team Dynamics. As a Team Dynamics fan, I'd love to see that. Um, 
or maybe even BTC, but who knows? But of course, we know compared to world touring cars, you need to bring your own money rather than what it was. Obviously, let's go back to the 90s, let's say, where you can race in touring cars and be paid for it rather than, of course, um, having to pay your way in like it is nowadays. And in fact, in any motorsport, you need to bring some sort of, of backing to you. I'm sure Jan will do that. Um, he would bring a lot of attention to being the world champion. Um, but yeah, I think Jan will do pretty well. Of course, I think it would depend on the car. If he's in the worst car, he, he'll probably be mid-pack. However, if he is in a championship competitive car, he will win races. And I think, yeah, I think he could be a contender if he ever joins. So Jan Elache, if you are watching, please come to Touring Car. Please come to BTCC. I'd love to see Jan Elache in the BTCC. Also, guys, let me know, who would you like to see join the BTCC? It could be anyone in the world. Who would you like to see join the British Touring Cars either in 2022 or 2023 or even beyond? Let me know uh, who you think should join in the comments below. If you aren't around here, be sure to subscribe and share with your mates because it does help my channel grow. And yeah, like I say, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.